can say is that my life is pretty plain. I like watching the puddles gather rain. And all I can do is pour some tea for two and speak my point of view, but it's not sane. It's not sane. I just want someone to say to me, oh, 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 I'll always be there when you wait. Yeah, yeah. You know I like to keep my cheeks dry today. So stay with me and I'll have it made. And I don't understand why I sleep all day and start to complain when there's no rain. And all I can do is read a book to stay awake. And it rips my life away, but it's a great escape. Escape. All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. You don't like my point of view, think I'm insane. Well, it's not sane. It's not safe. I just want someone to say to me, no, 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 no. I'll always be there when you wait. Yeah, yeah. You know I like to keep my cheeks dry today. So stay with me and I'll have it made. I'll have it made. Ooh, I'll have it made. I know you don't know. I know you really want to really gotta have it made. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a song by Blind Melon called No Rain, probably their most popular song ever. And uh, the lead singer, Shannon Hoon, is yet another another tragic statistic of major depression. And uh, we lost him in 95 due to an overdose. That sucks, but you know, I feel like it's important that when you love a song, you love an artist, or someone produces a really profound piece of music, you should acknowledge their entirety as a person, not just the thing they made and allow it to be squeaky clean, you know? This is a real person who really suffered to make that awesome song, and I hope I honored it. So, uh, my previous video, I played a serious tier deck, and I got my ass kicked. Boy, howdy did I get my ass kicked. It, uh, it felt bad. So, because... Uh, because we got our ass so thoroughly kicked, I went on to Mobileetics once again and just looked at the most recent deck by uh, top players, which, again, I think is people who are top lucky, but, you know, fight me. Uh, so, 15 minutes ago, uh, Bruised by God posted this deck that was Trundle and Swain. And I love Swain, and I really want him to fucking work, so we're gonna try this. And it looks like the idea here is that your Avalanche on a large board, or that your Icequake on a large board is going to one-shot level your Swain. Uh, you've got some regenerating creature here, some regenerating creature here, to try to have something left on the board after the board wipe hits. You've got a bunch of stalling out effects here. You still have the Ravenous Flock because, again, Avalanche is going to damage many, many things. You have Troll Chant to potentially protect some of your critters from the effect of your uh, your board wipes. And you have Culling Strike to pair with the uh, Archer. 
And then you've got, as you go over the top mechanic, Leviathan, of course, and one of War Mother's Call. I have to suspect this is to have a chance to go over similar very large decks, like decks that run Aesol. I don't think you're often going to win that matchup with just the Leviathan Swain clan. So a one of War Mother's Call is an interesting tech, and we'll see if, uh, if any of our games it becomes a relevant, uh, relevant inclusion. My gut says Warm Mother's Call should just be like a Noxian Fervor or something a little on the safer side, but we'll see. Thank you, Mox. Set. What do we got? Oh, okay, this guy again. I played him in one of my matches off stream, and it's just Bannerman. Exactly what you think it's going to be. It's just Bannerman. This deck should do relatively well against that type of strategy. Ugh. We just want avalanches and ice quakes. Escapes my watch. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. Safeguard our homes. So it looks like we're going to be forced to avalanche very, very early here. You can't really let this thing run amok. To the field. This is exactly how our last match went. We passed there because I was hoping he would attack with this. Um, the homestead. Stand strong. If he has the answer via uh, Ranger's Resolve, we're just going to Ice Quake next turn. Down. That went about as well as could be hoped. Important to note that it appears we have no ramp and no healing on this deck. Actually, I think there are, there's a couple kindly tavern keepers, right? Um. I'm just gonna swing and then I might ice quake. I'll knock him dead. I feel like we're playing around Concerted Strike. But honestly, if they Concerted Strike in response to my Ice Quake, it's not really that big a deal. No mana ban for you, sir.
Have you considered not having a board? Have you considered that? I think that's a great idea. Okay. I'll take that trade. The hell? Can you summon an elite? What? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? was that? Instantly we build from a board wipe? How did I go from winning to losing with one card? Sushi. Honey, I'm in the middle of a timed game and I'm losing badly because that's what always happens. Nice to meet you. Ah! We have nine cards. I'm not going to burn a card yet. Feeling pretty dead though. Captain Kronka, call me Garrett. Yeah, extremely dead. We need another trundle or another ice quake. Um Extremely dead. Are we just playing both ice pillars to have two big blockers for free? Strike. Single combat. Uh, okay. So now we kill that with flock. We should try to use that in response if possible. survive this. Probably not. I can't believe there's a three mana spell that just instantly rebuilds your board.
should thank you for the Marcia will prevail. Well, still so much to learn. We're not dead yet. they don't have a rally effect along with this, we're fine. If they have a rally effect as well, we're, we're dead. Doesn't matter. That is some busted bullshit. Let me tell you. That for the Fallen card is some busted bullshit. I don't like that one bit. It's only when you summon an elite. Okay. So it literally only works in that deck. Alright. I'll concede. If it just went down for every, uh, for every ally you summoned or whatever. But it's only elites. Okay, maybe it's not broken. Pretty brutal, though. Played through two of them. Almost through the game with that block play. Gotta try to be more reactive. Okay, so this is probably an indoor variant. Huh? Or an avalanche or whatever. That egg? Did it move? Uh-huh. I must get out of here. I can see the Nebastian border from here. Aggro. Um, Mist Wraith Aggro. Ready the torches.
Seems like we're just avalanching this turn. Can we wait? Can we wait for a better avalanche? I think we're supposed to wait for a better avalanche. I'm gonna play this out as bait. I feel like if I just pass, I'm just gonna pass back. And then do that instant speed uh, Mist Wraith bullshit again. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We have one block. Chandra gives us two. This forces them to play even more into us. These are trolls. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of what this is trying to do. Stuff like Trundle and the Ravager force your opponent to play more to the board, and then you can punish. Okay. Still a bad attack. Sure. Are we dead on turn five? We're not dead on turn five, are we? Impressive amount of damage. My life for Amorosa. They look angry. Wow. Wow. Turn. Really did not expect to be losing our. Uh... Did not expect to be losing that there. This feels like we might be dead here. Glory, like we might be dead here. Especially with Nocturne and Kalista still in their hand. They have to play out to be toughness now. No? Heal is nice. So we have exactly enough to Ice Quake. Or we could kindly... And we'd still have Avalanche or Culling Strike up. Interesting. How they run out of gas so quickly? Welcome to the tipsy
Well, shit, we can't block. Um... Am I avalanching and ravenous flocking here to stop taking five? Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Sadly, I think I am. really worried about him trading. I'm worried about him killing me. So this levels the swain, and then we just drop Ration Leviathan and that should be it. We're gonna open swain to deal 8 damage. We'll play the Ice Pillar for a free blocker, and then we'll play Leviathan. Well... That did not go to plan. That did not go to plan. Fuck. <laughs> he missed. Jump blocker there. If he goes ham on mist race, we're almost certainly just gonna ice quake. Um man, that's a great opening play for our opponent. Because it forces us to kind of play around it. pass back we're fine here we're losing a bunch of uh, a bunch of mana but we're getting out of the danger of them swinging and every turn that gets passed is better for us because we're dealing damage if they pass we've dealt six damage because it'll be three on our turn and three on theirs So right now we have block, block, block. Still doesn't matter. I feel like my instinct tends to be to rush these sorts of games, and I really need to find a way to remind myself on my head to slow down. Uh-huh. Let's talk about your dad. So worst case scenario is they kill the Leviathan, but even then, it's not that big a deal. Okay. 
think. They didn't deal any damage to us, that's great. By my hand will Noxus rise. Grand General! It was probably going to be correct to kindly to heal this first in the event that they do have some way to deal that amount of damage, but I can't think of the card that would deal that much damage. This uh, will also allow us to throw this at this. Oh, well, maybe not now. Um... Oh, they're all going to be stun locked anyway. They hit the old bags at the door. Dark in the sky. I will break them. Battle station. And only one way. <laughs> Not bad, dude. Well, I felt like that went pretty well. Uh, I'm going to keep experimenting with this one. I kind of like the flow of it. Um, we're going to see how it pairs up against the scarier control decks. Seems like obviously it's going to have a pretty good uh, creature heavy aggressive matchup, which is nice. But. Is it going to be able to weather the storm of cards like Asol? Uh, we're going to have to find out. My name has been Gravity Groove. This has been Not Safe for Work Runeterra. Thanks so much for hanging out. There's a lot of content out there made by a lot of talented people, and it's great that you decided to spend a little of your time watching some stuff, playing some games with me. Uh, if you did enjoy this, I would love for you to subscribe, to say hello, to hit the uh, various widgets and bells. Hey! I'm considering doing a YouTube live or maybe a Twitch live stream once a week. And if you hit the bell, then you'll know when I do that, if I do it on YouTube. Uh, I'd love to know if anyone's interested in that sort of thing. I haven't done live. Uh, I think I know how the widgets are uh, supposed to run <laughs> to make this thing do that thing. But, you know, <laughs> we'll, uh, you'll get to watch me fuck up a whole lot in real time. It would probably be glorious. <laughs> Once again, thanks, and I will see you next time. Boom! Trolls. <laughs>